Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here, welcome back to another Monster Hunter World video. Behemoth is now live in game, as well as Big Boy Kuluyaku, and of course with these new quests comes a new and rather exciting armor set, as well as a fancy new insect leaf. Sadly, there aren't new weapons for each of the 14 archetypes this time, but regardless, what we do have is a really good armor set, with some really nice skills that we will for sure be working into some of our future mix sets. So, as I always do anytime there's a new armor set and weapon, we're gonna take a look at the skills and the stats and see what all the fuss is about. Of course, if you do enjoy this, then a like would be super appreciated and be sure to comment down below and let me know what you guys think of it and also how are you liking Behemoth. Additionally, if you haven't already entered our giveaway for the God of War PS4 Pro, then you can find a link to that in the description box down below. Now, first up, let's talk about the armor set, since for most of you, this is gonna be the main appeal. The set is the Draken Alpha set and it's the Dragoon armor set from Final Fantasy XIV. And this is what it looks like. This is the female version right now, but the male version looks largely the same, minus the stomach window. More excitingly though, is the color potential. Almost the entire armor set can be colored, so you can go from nice, subtle colors to super bright and garish colors if that's your thing. Then on the skill front, this is where things get interesting. This, my friends, is a very nice armor set. It's a set that will pair incredibly well with Insect Glaive, and we'll discuss exactly why in just a moment, but outside of that, it just has some really nice skills that are applicable to most weapons. So even if you don't run this as a complete set, there are for sure some pieces you'll want to work in to your own mix sets. First up, the armor set has two set bonuses. The two piece bonus is Elemental Airborne, where elemental damage is increased for jumping attacks. And since the Insect Glaive from this collaboration carries the Dragon Element, this is for sure something you better take advantage of if you're attacking in the air. However, on top of that, the four piece set bonus is the Master's Touch, the same set bonus from the Teostra armor. This prevents your weapon from losing sharpness during critical hits, which is rather nice when you factor in the potential in this armor set. So you also have Critical Eye level 6, which gives you 25% affinity, and keep in mind, the closer you are to 100%, the more benefit will get out of that 4-piece set bonus. You also have Attack Boost level 3, which gives you plus 9 attack. Critical Boost level 3, which increases the damage dealt by critical hits to 40%. You have Power Prolonger level 1, you can ignore Guard, that's just from my charm, but Power Prolonger level 1, at least in the case of the Insect Glaive, gives you a bonus 10% duration on your Kinsect buffs, but this is of course applicable to other weapons too. And finally, you have Airborne, which gives your jump attacks an additional 10% power. So already we have a set with a decent amount of affinity, some attack, and some great crit potential. But when you look at the slots, you realize what else you can do with this set. You have a level 3 and a level 1 slot in the helmet, a level 3 in the chest, two level 2 slots in the gloves, and one point in attack boost, a level 3 slot in the waist, and finally a level 2 slot in the legs with two points in attack boost. All up, that's three level 3 slots, three level 2 slots, and a level 1 slot. So, you can then very easily go and say, throw in a single attack gem to boost that up to attack boost level 4, and get that bonus 5% affinity. You can gem in full weakness exploit with three tenderizer jewels, giving you an additional 50% affinity when striking weak spots. You could even gem in a single expert decoration for critical eye level 7, and you would still have lots of slots left over. You could even throw in full power prolonger if you really want to, but if you pair this with the insect glaive that comes from this collaboration, you can actually get 100% affinity. See so the insect glaive, this is the first form, but if you then upgrade it, you have 589 base attack, 20% affinity, 300 Dragon Element, High Elder Seal, a nice level 2 slot, and you can get White Sharpness on this too, but it will require a minimum of Handicraft level 4, and even then it's only a Thin Slither. But with the 20% Affinity from the Glaive, the 25% Affinity from the base Critical Eye level 6, and then the additional 5% from either Attack Boost 4 or Critical Eye 7, you have 50% Affinity. Pair that with Weakness Exploit, and provide your attacking weak spots, that is 100% affinity, allowing you to never lose sharpness. So yeah, safe to say, this is a very nice set. And even if you don't want to use it complete, you can for sure take advantage of some of those slots and those skills and supplement them into your existing sets to either swap out pieces you don't like, or just improve them overall. And with that being said, be sure to submit any of your new sets for Mix Set Monday. I'm going to be looking for sets using Behemoth Parts for next week's episode, as well as any sort of anti-Behemoth sets you guys might have made. But for now, that's it. Keep it locked as I'm going to be streaming some Behemoth Hunts on YouTube later on today with 269 and Paradise. But of course, if you guys missed that, then I'll also upload the VOD so you can catch some of the action. But until then, thanks again for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out. <laughs>